Hey y'all, it's me, Serena. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. On Style with Serena, we talk about all things fashion, style, and a little bit of beauty and lifestyle for those of us in our 40s, 50s, and beyond. So if that sounds like something that would be interesting to you, please consider hitting that red subscribe button and giving my video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. So today, I've got an Amazon haul for you guys. And um, I decided to pull together a collection of some of their top rated tops, blouses, sweaters that can be worn now and going into fall. And all of these items are great prices. They come in a ton of different colors. And I just thought that these would be things that I could see, you know, me definitely wearing and probably you too. And um, I know Amazon can be uh, challenging to dig through everything because it's just so vast out there and um, it's hard to narrow things down so when I find things that are good I want to I'm gonna share them with you guys so that's what I'm doing today and another thing that I'm sharing today is a set of pajamas and you may be saying Serena why are you in a pair of pajamas <laughs> um, well these are by a seller uh, on Amazon called Numi and they did send me these these pajamas uh, in exchange for a review so I did not pay for these but I did uh, agree to do a review for you guys and my review is 100% honest what I think about these pajamas so these again they, this seller sells a ton of different items pajamas and clothes. I chose these pajamas because I like sleeping in things that are v-neck, not up tight around my neck, and I like short sleeves as opposed to sleeveless, but they do have these in a sleeveless version. And I also like sleeping in shorts. I don't like long pajama pants, but I think they do have long pants. Um, I will link this below for you guys and share, uh, share their site with you on Amazon or their store so you can see what else they offer. But um, these pajamas, I really enjoyed. I didn't want to do this review until I had a chance to, you know, sleep in them a few nights and wash them to see how they held up and how they performed. So a little bit about these, they are 95% rayon and 5% spandex. So they do have some give. And I will say this rayon fabric, it's super soft. It's just like a flat, you know, knit kind of fabric, super soft on the skin. And it actually has kind of a cooling effect, I found, which is great for me or any of us who tend to be hot when we sleep. I didn't know how it was gonna, how they were gonna feel, but they actually have a cooling kind of touch to the skin. So they have been super comfy for me to sleep in these hot summer nights when, you know, it's just kind of a struggle to get cool and get uh, situated in the bed at night. So they come with like, or these with the short sleeves and then the shorts have pockets. The shorts, yes, they're a little, they're short, but they're pajamas and I don't like long things on my pajamas, long legs, because I don't like the way it feels when they get twisted up around my legs. I don't like that. So I like a short if I'm sleeping in pajamas. So this is a size medium. And I will say definitely size up in these. These do run small. I read um, some of the reviews and I decided to go ahead and size up because it was pajamas anyway. And I'll tell you, I could not have worn a small. They would have definitely been too small. And these shorts, I probably could, you know, if you like your things really loose and comfy, your pajamas, then I would even size up two sizes. I think I, I could wear the large and the shorts and they would still be okay. Uh, the medium top is fine. But uh, yeah, definitely size up if you want to try these. And as far as care for these, it says to machine wash cold and hang to dry. Well, I don't do that unless it's something very delicate. I thought, come on now, this is a pair of pajamas. I, I need to be able to throw these in the dryer. So what I did was I put them in the dryer um, on low, on delicate, on low and let them dry and then they were still kind of damp. So I ran the cycle again to let it dry just on low until they were dry and they were fine. So you can hang them if you want to. I put mine in the dryer, but I definitely would do it on low heat. 
All right, so that is what I think about these pajamas. I think the price on these is like $19.99, something right around $20, not bad at all. And I think it's a great buy for some very comfortable and cute pajamas because you know I love my animal print and I love this leopard. So I will definitely include the link to these pajamas down below and you can check out their store and see what else they offer. So, all right, I'm gonna get into the try on for uh, my blouses. I'm gonna wear the same jeans and the same booties uh, throughout the try on just for ease of everything, but so you can get the idea. But I have three tops and then a shell and a cardigan. So let me get in, changed into that and I'll be right back. Okay, first item is this cute, v-neck blouse and it's got these kind of bell sleeves on it or i don't know not really bat wing i'm not sure what you call these just flare, flared sleeves and it has two rows of this you know sheer net on the sleeves which is just a really neat little detail so this blouse i thought was really neat because it can look great with jeans like i'm wearing it these are those um, cigarette jeans by AG that I got in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And I'm gonna be wearing these throughout the try on. And also wearing these uh, cedar booties by Steve Madden, also from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So they're just a nice neutral booty that'll go with everything. And um, I love these jeans, so I chose to try these on with everything. But here it is, kind of with a front tuck. Yes, it's kind of wrinkled. I didn't take the time to steam or iron this stuff. Sorry about that, but you get the idea. But this can be dressed down with jeans. It could also be, you know, very professional or dressy, depending on what kind of pants you put it with. You, this would look great with some black slacks or black, um, uh, what am I thinking of? Culottes or a skirt, anything like that with a skirt and heels, this could be really dressy. I think it's just a really versatile top that you could do a lot with. And the price on this is $19.99. Uh, or mine was $19.99. It might vary a little bit. You know how sometimes Amazon prices vary um, depending on the, your color choice and choice and size, color and size combination. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, but this comes in a, a ton of different colors too. So if you don't want the, uh, this is kind of an off-white, it's not bright white, but I think it does come in a, in a bright white. And, but it also comes in a ton of different colors too. So you don't have to stick with the basic. You could branch out into some different colors. And it is a little bit on the long side, at least on me. See, I can pull it out and it's tunic length. So I could wear it with some skinny jeans or even leggings if I wanted to because it does come all the way down past my crotch area. <laughs> so that's what it looks like out. So there's item number one. I'll be right back with the next item. Okay, next item is this green sleeveless waffle knit texture top. I don't know if you can see that texture there. Um, this top, again, only $19.99. And what I like about it is it's got this little twist right here. So it kind of gives that look of a front tuck without having to do a front tuck. It's just got this little twist right here in the hem. And then it's a little bit longer in the back. And I thought this would be great to wear in the fall, especially here in the South, because you know we have uh, fall on the calendar long before it feels like fall. So this is kind of a fall-ish color and look with the waffle, uh, waffle knit weave pattern in the top, but it's still sleeveless and it's thin enough that you're not going to overheat in it and this would be great too to layer under a cardigan you can th when it gets a little bit cooler throw a cardigan on over it and you can wear that and not get overheated too because you're still just with the sleeveless top underneath but this little top it's 95 percent rayon five percent spandex so it does have a little bit of stretch it says to machine wash it in cold and hang to dry 
It says do not tumble dry. I don't know. I guess you could take your chances with that, just like I did with, with the uh, with uh, the pajamas. But I think this is just super cute. I think it looks great with uh, slim leg jeans like this, or even with a straight leg jean. So. I really love this top. Comes in a ton of colors. So if you don't like green, there is a color out there for you. So I'll have the links to all these items down below so you can check them out for yourself. But love this top. So let me get changed into the next one. Okay, I am back with the next item. And I know I haven't mentioned this, but everything I'm trying on is a size small. I forgot to say that. All these tops are a size small. Um, I am 5'2". I weigh around 130 pounds, depending on the day. Right now, I'm a little over that. Um, and I wear a 34 double D bra. And I usually wear, like these jeans, I think are a size 28. So usually like a size six in jeans. All right, so that those are my sizes. All right, this top, it's a little bit more kind of bat wingish right through here, but this top is great because it really is tunic length and you can see here on the sides, it's got the slits on the sides and it's longer in the back. So it comes all the way down, all the way down to cover your bum. So definitely could wear this with leggings or jeggings or anything, you know, tight jeans, straight leg jeans, whatever. Um, I've got it just out like this, wearing it tunic style, but um, I think it looks good with a front tuck. Just to give a little bit of definition there. And I love this color. And this again came in a ton of different colors. I chose this kind of burgundy color because I thought it was so pretty and this is one of my favorite colors to wear in fall. This color and uh, green, those are probably my favorite, you know, fallish winter colors. Um, and again, I like the V-neck on this. It's not anything up tight around my neck. Wear a pretty necklace with it. It'd be nice to show that off. It does have this single pleat right here in the front and then the sleeves are the tab sleeves. I know some people are not big fans of the tab sleeves, but they don't bother me because they keep the sleeves kind of on me anyway at uh, a three quarter length, which is the sleeve length I really prefer. I don't like things usually that come all the way down. I like to keep my hands and my wrists free. I know I'm weird like that. But anyway, <laughs> I like the way this fits on my arms. So, and again, it's just such a great deal. This one was a little bit more expensive. It's $22.99, but still very affordable and comes in a ton of different sizes and a ton of different colors. So your size and color choice may be a little bit different price, might be a dollar or two different, but it's right around that $22, $23 mark. All right, so there you go. Let me get changed again. Okay, last looks is this shell and cardigan. I'm gonna talk about the cardigan first. This cardigan really caught my attention because it is a very good dupe for the Madewell Kent cardigan that was included in the Nordstrom anniversary sale that sold out a bunch of times. <laughs> I was able to get one um, in kind of a rust color, but the one I really wanted was the striped color block one that was very much on the order of this, and it sold out. But this is a pretty good dupe for it, and this comes in a bunch of different colorways, not just this one, the one I have. It's got the cream, the rusty orange color, the tan, and the blue. And, um, and I just like these colors. And the nice thing about this, well, one thing is the price. Um, it's $32.99 as opposed to $99 for that Madewell one. That's the non-sale price. So $32.99. Another thing I actually like about this one more is this one is made of cotton with a little bit of polyester. So it's like 65% cotton, 35% polyester the kent cardigan has wool in it 
which, um, you know, that's not a bad thing, but I'm sensitive to wool. So I will have to wear, you know, a t-shirt, preferably with long sleeves under that sweater to make sure that my skin doesn't get irritated from the small amount of wool that's in that sweater. This one is cotton and polyester. I don't have to worry about wool at all. And it is soft. It's not super thick. It has a very silky feel. I don't know if you can see, it has kind of a ribbing texture there, but it's a very smooth, silky feel. It's got pockets right here. It's got little slits on the sides and it's a longer cardigan. Comes down to, well, to the top of my knees. Of course, like I said, I'm only 5'2". So depending on your height, it'll hit you differently. But I think this is a great sweater, great, um, great dupe or great option for that Madewell sweater that sold out during the sale. Now, what I'm wearing underneath it, oh, let me see. $32.99, this sweater is just $32.99. Now, what I'm wearing underneath it is this shell. And the shell, is, oh, wait a minute, I keep going back, I'm sorry. The care on this sweater, it says you can wash it in cold and lay flat to dry, but dry clean is preferred, and that's what I would do, because I just, I'm always um, leery of my sweaters getting misshapen, you know, if I wash them and hang them up or lay them some way and they get like weird bumps or whatever in them, so um, I usually do send my sweaters out to be dry cleaned, so that that's not a deterrent for me for this sweater. Okay, this shell that I'm wearing underneath, this shell is was $19.88, that was the price. I'm wearing a size small. It's got this lace detail at the neck and on the shoulders, and I got it in this cream color. And, uh, but it comes in a ton of different colors. I did a little front tuck there, but here's what it looks like out. It's got the little dolphin hem at the bottom. I really like the shell. And like I said, it comes in a ton of different colors, but I think because of my bust size, it's causing it to pull right here and do this weird thing. And um, I don't think it's a it's a flaw in the shirt. It's just it's just not fitting me great, and I have that problem with a lot of tops. So I could go up to a medium in it, but then the armholes might be too big. So I don't know. I would not let this be a deterrent to you if you wanted to try this blouse because unless you are, you know busty you're probably not going to have this problem but just so you know this is a size small and it fits me everywhere else but it is pulling here and making this weird thing now underneath the sweater you don't know that but if you wanted to wear this just by itself then that could be an issue but here you go all right that is it that is my little video of top amazon uh top tops, <laughs> top Amazon toppers for fall. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Hope this give, gives you some ideas. I know Amazon can be a daunting place to go look. There are tons of things out there and you can get some great bargains, but it is hard to sift through and dig through and find things that work. And so when I find things that I really like and think are a good value, I'm gonna share them with you guys. And so that's what I did today. And don't forget about the pajamas. The pajamas are by Numi, and so I'll have them linked first down below. And I just think these are so fun. I love the leopard print. You know, I love a good animal print. So all these items I will link in case you're interested in trying any of these out. Great prices with some great fall staples for your wardrobe. So please hit that red subscribe button if you haven't. Give my video a thumbs up. And until I see you next time, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.